Hey everybody, um, this is Tina. Um, just had a whack, whack conversation with an alien, okay? Dream, whatever, okay? Um, you know, I, I was talking, there was a voice, it was a, it's a dream, it was a whole bunch of stuff, but I only remember it. They'd be, like, I was like, darn, why didn't I have paper and pencil next to my bed? Like, she was doing me a lot of important things, and I'm like, dang it. Why well, didn't have paper and pencils? Like there was a, she was giving me a big, big, big message too. What? Okay. Anyway, and uh, you know how I was telling you, heaven is telepathic in heaven, and the aliens are telepathic too. It's like you speak through wa rave radiation ter uh, with emotion. You with your thoughts. You don't really talk through your lips anymore. So the language of heaven is telepathic. It's Languages of all languages, you know, it's a, a capacity of all languages time a thousand. I can't tell you It's massive. Therapathic is massive to express every deep inten uh, Intentions and motives and everything all together like Therapathic you can express the completeness of your thoughts and your emotion. You know what I mean? So um, does that make sense? Ter like that's why I got saying that adjust your thought right now like make it be good right now because uh in in heaven these thoughts will be revealed to other people so you if you have this wicked ways you know again they talk they talk to thoughts they don't talk to lips anymore so you're like oh that girl is so uh, blah, blah 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 you know like i want to blah 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 her it's like there's in heaven there's no hidden when the devil he does that he does it in darkness and he hides things but in heaven everything's exposed so that's why god is conditioning us and the, the people that get enraptured out to have a pure mind because you know god say if you hate your brother and sister you already murder them in your heart but if you um so basically if you do if you lust after the eyes you're doing adultery so that was why god was having me to adjust the thoughts in my head you know what i mean the wicked thoughts in my head because um god is letting me know that's how heaven's going to be like like it's a holy place and we need to be some sort to extent of holiness because there's th going to be three three um there's going to be three uh three heavens and you know you're I, you know anyway so here's the thing man this girl she was get okay she i i had a feeling in my dream that she she it was a girl um she was an alien okay this extraterrestrial being okay and um definitely a fallen angel see either that or the angel sent me this message but she was saying that i think um is either angel giving me this message or a, a, a an alien which is a fallen angel and they they look like human okay i realize they look like a lot of them look like human okay they but they have very pale pale skin like white as snow and then they have blonde hair blue eyes like that kind of feature like a real a lot of them have those type of feature and these are they're gonna say oh we created you blah 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 big deception okay here's here's um the message that she was giving me she said something <laughs> one of the words that stood out was we are going to debunker you like debunker you and civilization she she going she she, she going to basically corrupt the aspect of uh, every field of the aspect of society darkness is going to invade like we're going to take over and y'all can't do nothing about it you know okay so basically i'm just going to sum up her message because i'm trying to explain the best i can because Terapathic, it's hard to explain terapathic words, you know what I mean? Because, like, like I'll tell you, like, when you get to heaven, you know what I'm talking about. Like, terapathic, it's it's the language of all languages, complex time. Like, it's the capacity of all languages, time a thousand, you know? Like, there's much more words out there that we don't have to explain our emotion. Does that make sense? Like, there are a lot of words that we don't even have in words to explain our emotions you know what i mean to explain what we're feeling in that condition or whatever so from all the universe god created and all the words all together that's what telepathic is because you know 
Earth is not the only uh, Earth is not the only uh, not the only planet or civilization God create. There's other planets with other creature and human beings or whatever it is. There's lots of planets out there. God and you know and this is this is telepathic is the language of all language from all his creation. This is a language telepathic. It's like talking through your spirit, like spirit to spirit connection, kind of whatever, you know. And so let's get back to the message. What the the alien was telling me, she was like, "We're about to corrupt your land. We're about to corrupt your uh, society in every aspect of it: the rice, the food, the water, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Okay, we're gonna corrupt it. We're gonna we're gonna invade this land. Okay." We are going to take over. Like, this is like, I'm, I'm having a feeling that they are, they have, um, you know, that God have given them a time to basically to, um, to rule over this earth. Like the, the beast, the dragon, to rule over this beast. So when, when, uh, when this girl was speaking, I just had a reality of the spiritual round. It's not like we thought, like piece and pie, you know, like, like the dragon sounds really. The dragon sounds a little bit, you know, fake, cartoony. But when I was talking to her, I'm like, I had a taste of what reality is, the really reality. And so what happened was, she was saying that even your rice is going to be sealed polluted like even the greener rice i heard somebody said that the rice is going to have the mark of the beast okay even the rice is going to have the mark of the beast even the rice is going to be polluted okay even the water okay the the the, the animals in the water okay there's going to be demons and contamin they're going to be nasties okay okay and so basically they're going to make us robots you know the rfid chip they're, they're basically the RFID chip is the contamination that is going to go every respect of um, humanity. And, you know, they're they're putting that mark on everything. Like this is mine, 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 mine. Everything belongs to to me. Like the devil. So he's trying to seal everything up. Like this is my territory. Like you know, this is my territory. I'm I'm, I'm like. Um, put my I'm gonna put my nasties on all these people so they become my robots or something. I don't know uh, Anyway, so This RID chip is serious y'all it actually makes you into robots It makes you one of them. They were like talking like they are robots like this, you know like well They're talking normal like this, but with no emotion like they're talking like this with no emotion That's that's how it's gonna be like they they, they don't have any emotion like you know, we happy and sad. They're like, "Hey, can I help you today?" Gonna you know. Basically, she's gonna be like a robot speaking. Like I can't even explain to you. Like once you put on the smock, you're gonna be like a robot. Like this is literally what's gonna be. And your soul is taken from you. Your um, you know, you're not gonna be you anymore. That's what I one thing I know for sure. That when you receive this mark, you're not gonna be you anymore, y'all. Listen to this. You're not gonna be you, okay? And I was watching this movie. Um, I, it's a new movie that came out where these these five men um saw themselves as human among robots, and God was trying to tell me this is going to retain to the the tribulation and the mark of the beast. And I was like, they they are telling, okay, this movie is mockering what is about to happen, like. They are going to, basically, they're gonna mock. They're gonna, they're gonna. That movie is basically mocking, um, you know, mocking humanity. Like at the end, there was this this light that seems to be like a god, but is an alien, uh, uh, that created this. You know, they made you think that they created you and whatever and trying to make peace on earth. But there's no priest, peace till the Prince of Peace came, which is Jesus. And so sh she was telling me that a lot of y'all work for us. A lot of y'all 
you know deep down inside you know it is wrong like you deep down inside but you guys give a crap about it you know you guys don't you like you're you're made up your soul is already made up like you know what i mean so basically like what um what she was saying is a lot of the people on this planet that supposedly planet the uh, like I told you, they're hybrids and reptilians or whatever that's trying to imitate human. A lot of people are working for them, and a lot of people are for them, like belong to them. Like they, their, their faith is sealed. Like they don't give a crap. They don't, they don't care if they go to hell. Like they don't care about you know whatever. And they're just gonna go in with the flow. You know what I mean? Like <clears throat> so, they. What she was saying is a lot of y'all know about this, and y'all don't give a crap. You know, you you're for us already. You know, like you're you you're on the dark side. You know, what I mean, like a lot of people are like that. They're like, eh. like I try to tell people about Jesus. Nobody wants to hear about it. Like, I I they're it's like it's a done deal. Like I think to this point, it's like, but I believe in the tribulation. In the tribulation, um. The, the Muslim and Buddhists that got deceived, you can still change because again, God God knows you before ahead of time. But whatever God said, let the righteous be righteous still, let the holy be holy still, let the wicked be wicked still. So, whatever path you're going on right now, right after the rapture, you're gonna excel in that path. You're gonna go faster in that path. You know what I mean? So if your soul, even though you're nice, you seem nice and you seem like you're good, but only God. Only God can make you good. Only God can make you holy and righteous before before the Father, okay? Unless this, you're going to be like filthy as rags, okay? So you need a garment to cover your shameness, your nakedness, you know what I mean? And so, um, like, a lot of those people, they are just like, eh. It's, it's, that's, that's the expression I got out a lot, of, or that's what th that lady was telling me like a lot of people was like eh, i don't give a crap you know like you a lot of y'all are for me already a lot of y'all are like lost you, you you're lost with no hope like it's like you don't give a crap like you know inside it's bad but you still decide to rebel you're no different from us that's what she was trying to tell me i'm like well, yo i hope this is not for me but maybe because god knows i always put message on online so you know what I mean? God, I always throw everything online here. Um, I'm not going to be here for long, but um, definitely, they're going to pollute everything. They're going to make you, this chip would change you. They're going to change you. And so when um, you're going to become robots and you, uh, it's, it's very advertising. You're able to send signals and stuff to each other. Like, you're literally going to be computers yourselves. That's, that's exactly what it is. Like, you can you're gonna have like you're gonna be like a program you're gonna be a product so um you know uh, the thing is they want us to become robots and and uh, because right now we have a body soul and spirit so when we have this when when we uh put the smart on it weakens it takes away our power Okay, this mark really weakened me. Like last time when I, it was, last time I explained to you I had a dream where people was trying to put a sticker on me. The chi sticker of the RFID chip, the, the barcode. And um, it, I knew that if I, if it was on me that I, I would have been weak, weakened, spiritually weak. Like in my uh, power, the power, the rights or whatever, whatever we have, what kind of the power from God as being sons and daughters of God we still have the rights like but when we when they put that on us we become like robots you know what I mean and and robots cannot be true children of God does that make sense you're only a product you know at the end so that's what they were trying to say that you know they're trying to put people they're trying to have people put on this mark to tell you you're only a product you know you only us, you know, you only project product. You're not real blood and flesh from God. You, you, I mean, like you're not really, you know, created by God. You are only made by us, kind of like that. It's hard to explain. Th does that make sense to you? Like this RFID chip changes you, DNA, spiritually, physically. I don't know, 
but it's gonna make you guys robots. It's gonna be very cool. It's a very tasting, tasting advertising. And they're gonna be like, oh, you know, you're gonna get a vacation, you're gonna get a free iPhone. I don't know if they're gonna even throw a house in there for you, but they're gonna do something serious so that's very promoting, you know? And then so they say that it's going to be like, it has all your information on there. You don't have to carry anything with you. And basically, you can download information and it's like you can have a, like automatic GBS in your head like you can like terapath uh, you can become terapathic and transmit thoughts and information download man this is like man this is sounding more like a <laughs> matrix like never before y'all this sound like matrix okay check out this new movie it it's I don't know what this movie is it's the robot where um, a futuromic robot where they thought these people are normal but they found out they're they're hum uh they're robots they're, they're not humans but they're robots and if you're not if you're not if you're not willing to be like them they're going to have to replace you like they're gonna have to kill you you know what i mean um like if you're not willing to be in the club drinking alcohol being like them like being like whatever then um they are going if you don't go it nice in a nice way they're gonna take you in you know you're you're dying either way you know what i mean they're they're trying to slave you either way you know and um so basically that's what they exactly that we're they're doing they're trying to slave us um in an aggressive stages time and um and after the rapture is total slave okay slave Thing, you know, it's they're slaving you, uh, having you do everything they want to have it to be perfect, but little not is not perfect, it is the opposite of perfect, it is corrupted. Okay, so basically, um, you know, she was telling me what she was gonna do, or her uh, high, high terrestrial people going to do to our planet, and these are fallen angels, you guys, they're going to just corrupt everything you know the wicked is going to submerge okay it's going to work in every aspect of society even the food and water is going to be cor corrupted even the food and water and the animal is going to be contaminated everybody's going y'all it's, it sounds so bad okay like oh, man this this dream is all so surreal like what the heck why didn't i have paper and pencil write this down it's like she was giving me up straight exactly how she gonna do it and how her civilized how she gonna do it and how she gonna corrupt us you know it's crazy that's it you guys bye